Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Khairunisa binti Muhammad Saleh. My matrix number is 1201078 and I'm from University Sain Islam Malaysia. Today I will presenting to you about my last my final project from last semester which is the individual studio part. First and foremost is I will explain about the briefing of the project. Brief of the project is very important as it the requirement that the faculty want us to do and the details of what we have to have inside our project. This project requires us to design a confined place, a confined spaces uh, into a studio point for, a, for the architecture student use for 24 hours studio work. So the main aim for this project three is to heighten the awareness to the students about human body proportion and also how the body interact with the space and also to help to gain the knowledge about uh, how the role of reasoning of every form is being shaped. For this project, um, it is required for us to use a limited space which is um, a 12 meter square spaces like 2.1 meter times 1.5 meter and with the height of 1.8 meter which is very small but is suitable for a person use. Activities in this spot must related to architecture student works like we need to have storage on to keep our architecture tools we need lighting, we need health and social distancing because of COVID-19 issue but it's still not limited interaction towards with the lecturer and our friends like we can still interact with other people but with a little bit of privacy and social distancing moreover we need to um, consider about the things that we have at the studio like we need to fit in the drafting chair, drafting tables um, we need to consider the lighting, the ventilation flow in our pot so this project requires a really um, understanding on what the users need and how we need to form the shape why we need to consider everything inside our design because um, we need to design a form that can give comfort to the users because function is important but it's also the form can give that give the best for it function. So next I will explain and I will go through with my with my project one by one. We starting from the introduction and then to the concept, knuckle study, ideation, and to the drawing. Firstly is introduction. My introduction is I want a space that I want to design a place which can provide conducive surrounding during studio, student studio work hours because being in architecture, we tend to spend more of, most of our time at studio. Most of our time at studio. So my concept is breathing space. Breathing space is a phrase, is an English phrase which brings means to um, a period or a delayed time where someone can relax, think, they can relax, they can think or they can have a little bit of time, a period time to improve themselves, to be someone better. So basically the breathing space is a concept where I want to put like I want a space that where people come to that space when once come to that space they will it will be a comfort space where he can do what he likes, he can do his work and he can manage to make himself feel more comfortable and by the consequence he or she will be more productive and can do much better in the studies so next i will go to the knuckle study i will recite the translation of 
A verse from Surah Al-Ma'idah ayat 15 until 16. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. O people of book, now our messenger has come to you, revealing much of what you have hidden of the scriptures and the disregarding. Much there certainly has come to you from Allah alike and a clear book through which Allah guides those who seek for his pleasures to the way of peace, brings them out of darkness and into light by his will and guide them to the straight path. So from this Nakhle study, I can interpret that um, the one who have struggle and hard work in their life will receive success. And inshallah, Allah will help for people who wants. So to relate it to my concept, to my design, I want to say that um, my studio part later will become a place where people will struggle and do their work to achieve success. So the study part is like a medium to for someone to achieve something. Maybe my studio part can be the place where he studies, he learns and he try to improve himself. Then I come to the ideation to portray my intention on having a space. So I come with the ideation of the sense of beach. Why I choose beach? Because usually usually people will go to beach to find relaxation and to have their fun time. So I come up with the ideation of the sense of beach, what we feel and what we can gain when we visit the beach. Like we can have a wide and endless view which we can obtain a natural lighting we can get fresh air and very good for ventilation to be applied in my design later then at the beach we can relaxation and have inner peace and not, last, last but not least is at beach we can do many activities so it will be the same as in my port where there will be a lot of activities can be done there instead of just for studio works like um, at beach, we can play kite, we can play ball, swimming, volleyball, and etc. So, how I want to reinterpret that into my design is my space will be, we have a lot of activities can be done there. Like, you can do your hobby, like reading, listening to music, or you can watch a movie from your laptop or, in, or on Netflix. So that's what, that's how I come up with the ideation of the sense of the beach. Because at the beach, um, is a place, is a really um, it relate to my concept, which is the breathing space, a place based on the meaning which is mean by um a place where people can relax their mind, can have their own time to become a better person. Okay, so this is the exterior perspective what we can see from the outside of the port then I will pursue to the design process on how I deriving the idea first I'm making use of the maximum of the space which is the the requirement spaces which is 1.5 meter times 2.1 meter so um, in order to utilize all the space, so I decide to use the basic 3D quiver form. So from there, I'll try to put my, I'll try to put the needs into our form to make a new form that can be function. Which is, I subtract the upper and the half form for lighting and the sense of openness. Like my addition is the pitch. So in order to make my studio port feel much wider, spacious and have the sense of openness. So I subtract the top and the half rank. The half rank is because we want to interact with the lecturer so that's the place where I will interact with the lecturer later. And then I adding the louvers on the side for ventilation purpose. Um, I want to put the ventilation aspect because we need 
fresh air to stay fresh and to be much better and for information louvers have a very high ventilation efficiency so by adding a louvers it is really um, good and functionable then louvers also can be can become can be shy or open with your desire like if you want to have a little bit of privacy you can just shut the louvers and if you want to make your space much wider you can open the louvers yeah it's a very multi-functioning louvers is a it gives you a semi privacy yet you still not less interact with your lectures or your surrounding okay next i will go through my drawing my second board which i provide uh, all the drawing like floor plan section interior perspective and also ergonometric so for the first one is the floor plan i will floor plan is the uh, plan is it's a view from top on what your your floor will look like like it means like how you um organize the organize the furniture or how you manage to fit all things and how you can look how your studio will be look so um, in the project, we need to consider many furniture like first we have to put our drafting table which is AO size which is very big and then we need to, ha need to have a drafting chair, we have to fit on storage, we have to have um, a table for to put our laptop and many things so at the floor plan we can arrange it. So for the floor plan, uh, it is uh, in a length of 1.5 meter and width of 2.1 meter. So that's for the floor plan. And then we go to the section XX where I cut to show you on how what's the perspective inside. Um, so as you can see, this is section XX. You can see the drafting chair, drafting tables, and a human figure to show to understand on how we will be inside the part later this in anthropometric understanding the anthropometric and then we have section yy is a vertical cutting so from the section yy we can see that the storage is under the table like we can put our architecture tools under the table on the storage so the the drafting table is actually multi purpose multi functioning like we can drafting but the design of the drafting table at the be below of the table we can keep our things we can have shelf to put our things and then um, we can see the side we can see how it, it can be looked from the side and that's the function of section to know the activities inside a building, inside a pod. And then at the and then this is interior perspective. Interior perspective is to show about how the interior inside a pod. And this is azonometric to show the overall or the whole st structure in a drawing so it can be clear for people to understand about the uh, about how will be the outcome later so next we're going to my drawing on board 3 which is i'm showing all the elevation front elevation left elevation right elevation and rear elevation for front elevation i put a human figure on purpose to make to show how we will build inside the building like the height so as my height is 160 centimeter so it fits it fits 
it fits to be inside the pot as the height of the pot is 180cm so this is how the look of my pot from front elevation and then to the left elevation left elevation is where the louvers that I put the louvers the louvers can be shut and can be open as you desire and then for the right elevation I'm designing a horizontal lines because I want to put a more aesthetic value so my pot will not be boring and for the addition to how to make the horizontal lines is by thinking of designing like slide wall where it has gap between the horizontal lines so we can hang we can put a hook we can hang our things so the oh, the wall can be useful and then for the rear elevation which is from the back is this is how my pot will be look like we have an opening as opening so it will not be like wide open it have a half opening to keep privacy so that's for the elevation so then i will show to you uh, my final model we using scale and dimension using scale of one to five so this is how it look from front elevation and then this is side elevation uh, left elevation where the louvers are so as you can see we can see through the louvers but if we want to keep privacy we can just shut the louvers then this is for right elevation you can see the gap between the horizontal lines where we can hang our things as now trending is um, how we decorate the studio and how we decorate our rooms or anything is like expose what we want to store then this is from the back this is from the back so the, for the conversion um, the outcome that I learned from this project is I learned the understanding of human anthropometry and how it is very important with to be interact with the space as you need to build a circulation where people can move freely inside a pot, inside a space. So we need. So throughout the the project, I learned about how to measure, how to use perfect dimension and perfect dimension. Then, um, I also understand and learn about how the function of the space, how to utilize all the space to make sure there is no negative space and how to how to have every how to have logically and have form has it reason. We have we have to make sure that every form that we make have it reason. So that's for my presentation for my final project for last semester thank you so much for listening